I want to extend revolutionary greetings to Comrade Jocelyn, Comrade Frank, Al camarada Frank. Uh, we go back more years than I can remember. And all of the other Puerto Rican comrades who are present sí, on behalf of Workers' World Party. There's, there's so much happening in the world at this moment that is difficult to concentrate on one thing. A couple of days ago, you, you had Trump with his neo-fascist rally in Orlando. Uh, and the, what do they call the boys? The, uh, the, the, the Proud Boys and the Nazi salutes. Before that, uh, he tweets that he's going to round up millions of immigrant workers. All of us are scrambling to find out what that might mean particularly migrant workers, and we're faced with the prospect of another war. Some people think that an attack on Iran is imminent, that it might come as soon as tonight or tomorrow. And we haven't even gotten to the economic crisis or the trade crisis or China uh, you know, the reparations hearings, which we'll talk about at another time, very interesting. Some of us who are influenced <clears throat> uh, by revolutionary Marxist theory believe that the world has entered a wholly unprecedented situation, that the contradictions Marxists talk about the contradictions. The contradictions of the system are intensifying. That pillars of the system are crumbling. In some ways, this explains the ascendance of Trump. Uh, institutions and alliances of the imperialists are crumbling. Every crisis is intensifying social crisis, economic crisis, political crisis. And there are great dangers. The dangers are real, and not just rhetoric. Dangers of fascism, dangers of war. A couple of weeks ago, we were talking about the attacks on women and their reproductive rights. What will it be tomorrow or next week? We have a lot to deal with. Those of us who are moving down the road to revolution. And I should add that with the dangers, there are also opportunities. Workers are rising up all over the world. The struggle is intensifying. Socialism is more popular. Taryn mentioned that earlier. And maybe even on the horizon, we can see the prospect of revolution in our lifetime. So our work is cut out for us. I raise all this in the context of the struggle of the Puerto Rican people for justice and independence. Sometimes, especially at a time like this, the working class organizations, the revolutionary parties can neglect the anti-colonial struggle particularly outside of the geographical boundaries of the country. It's a historic mistake. Even on behalf of some of the most advanced sections in the working class. Go to France and talk to some of our comrades 
about the problematic relationship between the working class movement there and the Algerian masses. And it's an important time to say that, look, Puerto Rico is not just any colony. I mean, U.S. imperialism's relationship to the global south is a neo-colonialist relationship. But Puerto Rico is not a neo-colony. It's a direct colony. And that should place extra responsibility on the shoulders of the working class, of the revolutionary forces, the anti-colonial forces, the anti-imperialist forces. How can there be any progress towards socialism when Puerto Rico is a colony? That has no logic to it. And maybe we haven't talked about Puerto Rico as much as we should have. But in the coming weeks, we will make up for that. There's a big demonstration coming in September. I think September 21st. Also, I don't know if you comrades heard about this. It was just announced that the US Supreme Court is going to take up a legal challenge to the Fiscal Control Committee. Be before the hurricanes came, there was that. There was austerity and the destruction of public education and the health care system, as Comrade Jocelyn explained. I believe they mentioned October. I think we should monitor this, and maybe they can be an intervention. Because finally, these struggles are all connected. What's going on in Puerto Rico is distinguished by the fact that it's a colony of US imperialism. On the other hand, the destruction of schools and health care, the beating down of the working class. You can go anywhere in this country and find that. And so this struggle against Wall Street control, all, all those members of the Fiscal Control Board, they are tied to Wall Street. <laughs> whatever, the, whatever the direct name of what they represent is, Wall Street is running the show. So this could become perhaps a very great opportunity. Anyway, that's it. Que viva Puerto Rico Libre.